During the Napoleonic Wars, Napoleon invaded Spain and installed his brother Joseph as a puppet king. However, during the occupation, many of the liberals who had once supported the French at the Assembly or Cortes of Cadiz adopted new liberal constitution and joined in the fight against the French. But this constitution granted a lot of freedoms and undermined a lot of the king's powers, so when the deposed Ferdinand VII regained the throne in 1813, he rejected it. But he was still hugely popular amongst the majority of the population, so he initially ruled relatively peacefully. But the ongoing independence wars in South America crippled the economy, and in 1820, an army sent to fight in the Americas mutinied forced him to adopt a new constitution and essentially held a prisoner. But this new government only ruled for three years, known as Triennial Liberal, before the now monarchist French sent an army into Spain meeting very little resistance and restored Ferdinand to personal rule. Ferdinand was again welcomed by the majority of the population who resented the liberals' attacks on the church and monarchy. But many traditional royalists, especially in the Basque Country, Valencia and Catalonia, opposed Ferdinand's attempts at centralization. Plus they wanted Charles, his brother, to succeed him. However, in 1830, Ferdinand had a daughter and changed the law to allow her to succeed him. Ferdinand then exiled his brother to Portugal, where he was welcomed by his conservative brother-in-law, Miguel I. While in Spain, Ferdinand got the support of liberals, his old enemies, by giving them key posts in the government. So when Ferdinand died in 1833, the child Isabella was made queen with her mother Maria Cristina as regent. But the Carlists, who supported conservatism, absolutism, and the church rejected this and proclaimed Charles as King Charles V, starting the First Carlist War. However, a civil war in Portugal prevented Charles from leading his forces, and the liberals in Portugal and Spain also received help from Britain and France. In 1834, Britain and France invaded Portugal and helped oust Miguel before moving into Spain to attack the Carlists. But thanks to their general Zuma la Carragui, the Carlists had achieved a few victories. However, both sides had committed a great deal of war crimes during this period. Meanwhile, Charles managed to return to Spain via France and took over the armies after Zuma la Carragui was killed as he besieged Bilbao. Charles came close to taking Madrid in 1837 but failed to secure a decisive victory, so a stalemate ensued. During the stalemate, the Liberals had the upper hand because they received money from France and Britain, and their general, Espartero, took over the armies and started to gain ground on the near-bankrupt Carlist. He relieved the city of Bilbao, then forced the commander of the Carlist forces in the north, Maroto, to sign a separate peace in 1839. With this loss, Charles fled to France, and the uprising was crushed in 1840. Espartero replaced the unpopular Maria Cristina as regent after the war, but he too proved unpopular and was ousted by a coup, and Isabella, despite being 13, ruled without a regent. She initially ruled alongside the moderate party in parliament and introduced new reforms for centralization. For instance, the Kingdom of Navarro was dissolved in 1841. Plus, she refused to mount the new Carlos claim to the throne, Infant Charles. So Catalonians rose up in 1846, starting the Second Carlos War. But this was much smaller in comparison to the First War and was quickly put down in 1849. By the 1860s, the Spanish Parliament fell under the control of a union of liberals. But Isabella began to meddle in parliament and favoured reactionary politicians. So in 1868, she was ousted by a military coup. The new government offered the vacant throne first of all to a German prince, which helped trigger the Franco-Prussian War, but then offered it to Amadeo, the son of the king of the new kingdom of Italy in 1870. Amadeo, however, took over a country which was nearly bankrupt and had to deal with rebellions in Cuba and Puerto Rico. Plus, just two years into his reign, the new Carlos claimant took advantage of this and proclaimed himself Charles VII. The Third Carlos War began poorly for the rebels, but Amadeo, sensing he could not unite the nation, abdicated in early 1873, and the First Spanish Republic was established. This encouraged many more people to join the Carlists, who reorganized and captured Estella in the Basque Country in August, while in the east they held on to Valencia. But the following year, they failed to capture Bilbao, and the Carlists in Catalonia were weakened when Charles's brother and leader of their forces, Infant Alfonso, was removed from his post. And at the end of the year, the Republic restored the monarchy by putting Isabel's son, Alfonso XII, on the throne. This encouraged many Carlists to give up the fight, and with a much larger army, Alfonso captured Estella in 1876, ending the war. Alfonso stabilized the country a great deal and improved the economy. However, he did end Basque home rule and his son, Alfonso XIII, lost Spanish colonies and was overthrown by the Second Spanish Republic. Spain therefore remained divided for a long time and Carlism survived. For instance, Carlist militias fought alongside Franco's nationalists in the Spanish Civil War. 